Hey y'all, so being that it's wedding season and a lot of people are getting updos, I decided to do three simple updos that you can achieve all by yourself right at home for any special occasion. So if you're interested, stay tuned. So my hair has been straightened for over a week now, so this is the perfect base for an updo. I'm gonna start off by making a middle part. Now I'm just going to take some hair around my face to add some softness to the look. Now using a rubber band, I'm making a low ponytail. Be sure that it's a little loose for the next step. Now here I'm making a hole at the base of the ponytail and passing the ponytail through that hole and then pulling it completely through. Now I'm just gonna twist the ends. You can also braid it depending on your length, but my hair is medium length, so I'm just gonna twist it. And now I'm just going to tuck the ends of the twist under and pin it in place. Now to add the finishing touches, I'm using Kaleidoscope Sleek Edges to smooth out my edges and tame the flyaways. Now I'm going to use Kaleidoscope Versatile Spritz to wand curl my face framing and this is a weightless light holding spritz that's going to control static and resist humidity and lord knows I need that because this is Louisiana and it is humid as hell out here. So I can use this spritz generously and plus it smells so good. After misting the entire style, I'm just going to pass my wand to smooth down any flyaways and just to polish up the look. Now to add some shine, I'm going to use Kaleidoscope Diamond Shine. I love this shine spray because it's super lightweight, it's not greasy, and it adds a nice amount of shine to my hair. And here is the finished look. Super easy, soft, and romantic. Now for this style, I'm going for a deep side part. So that's what I'm just gonna make here with a rat tail comb. And I'm starting off with Kaleidoscope Sleek Edges to tidy up my baby hairs. Next, I'm taking a section out of the front and clipping it out of the way. Now I'm just gonna create a low side ponytail. I'm now gonna spray the versatile spritz on my hands and then proceed by flat twisting my bangs to the side towards my side ponytail. And I start my twist off closer to my hairline and then when I get towards the ends, more towards the ponytail, I loosen the twist up. And when I'm done twisting, I use a rubber band to secure the ends. Now I'm just gonna twist the ponytail. And secure the ends with the rubber band. And when that's done, now I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap the twist around the base of the ponytail and secure with bobby pins. Now this step is completely optional, but I'm going to loosen up the front twist by pulling it gently like such. And I'm going to do this while I hold the ends of the twist. Now I'm going to take it and wrap it around the base of the twisted bun, and then I'm going to pin it in place. Now I'm using Kaleidoscope Versatile Spritz for a light hold. And I'm going to follow that up with Kaleidoscope Diamond Shine for some shine. And this is the finished look. Once again, simple and sleek.
Now for style number three. So you can tweak the front however you like. Take some hair out in the front, make a part, but I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it all out of my face. Now I'm taking a high ponytail with my bangs as such and using a rubber band. You're definitely gonna need some rubber bands for this style. Now right underneath that ponytail, I'm gonna make another one in the center of my head while pulling from the sides. Now I have two ponytails. Next, I'm gonna split the top ponytail and I'm gonna put the bottom one in between the top one. Now hold on to that and pull the hair from the sides and add it to whatever you're holding. And then make a ponytail using a rubber band. Now we're back to having two ponytails. Once again, split the top one in half, put the bottom ponytail between the top one, and now pull hair from the sides. And make a ponytail with the split ponytail at the top and secure it with a rubber band. From there on, you keep on with that pattern. The top ponytail is always the one to be split and the bottom one is the one you're going to put in between that. I hope my instructions come clear. It's a little hard to explain, but really simple once you get into the flow. So when I get to the bottom, I'm just going to go ahead and braid the loose ends and secure the ends with a rubber band. From here, you can leave the braid hanging, but to keep it simple and sleek, I'm going to go ahead and tuck it underneath and pin it in place. Now I'm going to finish off this look, starting with some sleek edges by Kaleidoscope and a toothbrush. So I decided to pull out some hairs on the side of my ears just to soften up the look and just add some framing to my face. And now I'm just gonna simply use my wand to curl those very loosely. Now I'm using Kaleidoscope Versatile Spritz to lay the flyaways down. And next I'm gonna use my curling wand to smooth out the look even more because I have some flyaways and a few layers of poking out of my braid. Now this step is optional, but I'm just gonna go ahead and tug on the braid as such just to make it a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna finish this style off with diamond shine. Now, this style was a little more complex to explain to you, but I promise you that it's super simple once you get the rhythm. And I really love this style because it kind of looks expensive and it's super simple, it's glam with a slight edge to it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it helpful. Thanks so much for watching and comment down below which style you plan on trying. Also, all the information on the Kaleidoscope products that I use in this video will be listed in the description box, so be sure to check it out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.